Hello and welcome to lesson 14 in the creation of our school management system. In our previous lesson, we dealt with what you are seeing on the screen. That is the design of our user form, a form which will be used to enter information into our database table on Excel. So in this lesson, we're going to look at how to design the form, format it appropriately, give it the, the, the colors it deserves, format the, the, the texts change font sizes and font styles and all that and basically that is what we shall be doing in this lesson so let's just dive right into it so before we start with everything let's go ahead and start with the background so we click inside here that is inside the frame now let's come to this and then change the back color the background color so you click on this back color you click on this then you go to palette then we look for any color of our choice here and choose so let me just see if possible i can confirm something here and change it to this i think this color looks okay for me now i would like us to look at the following and um, let's just select the label so you just drag the way of this then and the same thing here too sorry so you press and hold control and do the same thing here too so that all will get selected now let's check the what do you call it the back uh what do you call it there the back style so we go for okay the opaque is good so we maintain that let's look for the four color i think the four color to is also okay uh, which is a uh, black that will be the the color of the the text now let's look uh, check the okay the, the okay the border style is also okay now let's check the border color as well and that looks also okay too so now let's go ahead and check the background of our user form itself so you click here that was why i said in our previous lesson that when drawing a frame make sure it's a bit there is some space between the the frame there should be a space between the frame this is the frame and then the user form itself so that when we are about to click the user form it makes it easy if I should click here, we have the user form as the name here, the user form. So now let's just go ahead and change the background color of the user form. So we click here, sorry, the back color here. Is, we just click here and look for the right color for it. I think this uh, light blue will be ideal here. I think that looks okay. So let's check the frame or the, the, the background color of our uh, the, the, the list box as well. So we just go here to and check, look for the right color on the palette here. And you got the right color to I think this color will be okay, not bad. Okay, let's give it the same color here. Now inside the box, inside the list box, let's give it the background color as well. We'll go to the palette here. I think uh, this color looks appropriate. So good. So let's just debug it and check what we've done so far. I think this looks okay. <laughs> Sorry. Now let's quickly switch back to um, design view and continue with it. Now let's look for Let's select the, the, the what do you call it the, the, the various uh, labels and then see how we can just format them appropriately. Oh, sorry, uh, let me just delete this because we don't need it. Let's just uh, select this control, press and hold control key on the keyboard and select this as well. Let's go for the fonts and see how we can work on the font. So we we'll come to this and then check the font style. I think the font style should be Times, Times New Roman and then the size should be 10 i think so we should bold it a bit and then click on ok so we have this so i think this looks good and not all that bad so let's just try to drag it a bit away from the labels or the the, the text boxes good so i think this looks okay so you can adjust it the way you want just to make it look good so that is your business so you go ahead and then execute that by yourself now i think um let's check on our um control buttons as well but before we do that let me see other properties that we can so um uh, caption is okay so butter style is okay check this now click okay. yeah, let's just go for the let's change the background of the labels to transparent so that the color matches with that of the, the background color in the frame here so with that you come to a back style you click the drop down arrow here so we have the, the, the opaque which already selected and we have the transparent so choose the transparent so we have this 
so with this we can change the four color or the text color of the labels just to make it pop up just make it appear neat or all that so let's just check on that so let's go ahead and check so let's go to the the four color so we click on this let's change it from black to at least some so i think this color looks okay i think so so i think let's just uh, take it away now let's come back to the special effects let's click on this the special effect and choose sunken this one the second one so that it looks a bit uh, blockish or something like that good so that looks okay with this and then what next uh, let's just check on the oh, sorry i forgot to select this okay i'll do that later so let's just check on this too as well let's click this and then this as well let me just try to adjust the, 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 the sizes just to make it fit okay select this press and hold control the keyboard and select this as well let's give it the same formatting as we did to other labels so let's straight up let's check on that yes uh, let's just check on the special effects here should be sunken as well uh, let's check the fonts so we go to the font and change the font style we would like to bold the font style times new roman and then size 10 that looks okay too so um, and this is okay so let's try to see if we can change the back color of it the back color of it let's check on something like this so the palette here let's check and check if we can give it this color i think this color looks okay it's matching with the one in the list box i think this looks okay so let me just debug it and see so i click on this and check it out and see okay, this looks okay so you can select here you can select here and all that so basically that is that let's go back and continue with our formatting so let's just close it from here now what else do we need now um let's just check on the buttons so select one and then press and hold control on the keyboard and click to select the rest format it appropriately let's check on the font first the font we would like to bold the font times new roman size should be 12. okay let's check and see whether it's working for us okay it's like the size is a bit too big so let's just uh, adjust it but i would like the size of the uh, control buttons to, to, to be like that so we only need to reduce the font size and then that, that will look okay so let's check on 10 okay good so we have this are we going to give you the same color yes let's check on that let's check on the back color of it so that it looks okay <clears throat> so let's just check on this palette give it the right color and the color of it uh, this color looks okay so let's change the four color to white so that the text becomes white and that looks okay good and this looks okay now so let's debug it once again and check on that so we have this to up and running so let's close it and continue so let's fix this as well do the same thing so let's go to um, font first times new roman we like to bold it size to 10 okay so the background color the four color should be white the four color should be white so you can see now let's go to the back color and change it to deep blue as we did to this and this looks okay too and outstanding perfect we are good to go from here now let's just go ahead and check on other few things we can check on i think this looks okay now let's go ahead and then divide the various uh, what do you call it headings you know the number of headings or the columns here is what we're going to have in the same user form so we have from the admission number to the contact or whatever yeah the contact we have 10 columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we should have the same thing here divided like that so to do that make sure the list box is selected let's come to uh, column heads let's check on column heads and let's turn it to true good so you can see some line here showing me that the column heads are ready to be taken in there now let's check on column width and then assign width for each and every column for that matter so let's just start so i like the admission number to take 80 then comma so i type 80 there 
and then uh, after the admission number, I have the name. So I like the name to take uh, the, the size of the column should be 180, and then comma. And then from there, we have uh, class. The class should be 110, so 110, comma. And we have gender. Gender should be 80, sorry, 80, comma. After gender, then we also have date of birth. Date of birth as well should be 180. We want it to be big. Because some people might choose long date. And then date of admission should take the same thing, 180, then comma. And then... Um, After date of admission, we have, we have admission fee. Admission fee should go with 80. So we have 80, comma. After admission fee, then we also have guardian name. That one should also take 180, 180. We have comma. And then after guardian name, we also have address. Address should also take 180, so 180, comma. Then after address, we should have uh, uh, contact. And the contact should also have 100 so we'll check on that and we are good to go from there so let's just check it out so we have that up and running so let's just it's there there's that we haven't yet uh, entered anything so it wouldn't appear for now so let's just go ahead and debug it and see something here sorry to debug it make sure you click inside the form here and then do this so we have this up and running here when we enter when we assign a uh, a rules to it we'll be doing that using a function called name manager in excel so we'll be doing that when we are about to enter the formulas so we fix that later so we check on that so let's just go ahead and check the column count let's go to the column let's make sure the list box is selected and check the column count the column the number of columns we have is 10 so you make sure it's selected click up so we can see that it's now divided the number of columns is now divided so we have it there the column count should be 10 that means the number of columns we have so i think uh, basically we are done with the designing of our form so i think this looks okay let's just check on the frame then let's check the font style and then size just to bold make these ones look outstanding a bit so let's just go to the uh, the back color first right okay the back color looks blue so okay let's check the four color so okay let's check the fonts first and then the size so times new roman we would like to bold it the size should be 14 okay let's click on that so you can see this looks bigger now so let's click inside this one and do the same thing let's go to fonts change the font style times new roman we like to bold its size to 14 and then okay so this one too looks big so i think we like to change the the, the, the four colors to be white so change this and then click here go to the palette and change it to okay let me just make it look this way uh -huh. so you click inside this one as well and do the same thing so change the four color to yellow which is something like that this is okay as well so let's click inside and debug it and see good our form is now perfectly executed so we are done with this and i think we like to okay let's just edit something here again let's make sure the user form is selected so if it's selected you see it here let's change the caption to uh, student data entry form so we just type students data entry sorry yeah entry form so we have that here at the top you can see it's selected like i said to do that make sure the form is selected come to caption and clear the text here and type whatever you want it to appear here so basically and that is that so i think um we are good to go here so what else 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 nothing else so i uh, would like to end this tutorial here and then in our next lesson we're going to enter the various codes vb codes in here i'm not going to be explaining to you how the codes are going to be working to do that means it will take us to a different thing what is going to happen is this if you want to learn visual basic application the, the, the codes the language then we'll have to have another lesson for that specifically for that so that we know how the language is and then how it works so in here we have to look for lists loops if statements and all that huh. so basically that would be another thing but here what we want to achieve is for us to be able to create a system so with that i've already written the codes down I'll just assemble them in a folder, zip them, so teach you how to unzip it, and then 
teach you how to copy it and paste it inside the appropriate field and then it will get executed so that is what we'll be doing in our next lesson so until then thank you very much for watching and bye for now